Okay, I've been asked by Einar at 5.11 to just give you some form of tip when it comes to survival. One tip that immediately came to my mind was to give him the tip of the bag that we pack with us during the winter. And this is especially up north when it's very, very long distances between the towns. It could be very, very cold. And being in a remote area, there could be hours before help arrives. What is the average time for a paramedic or ambulance to get to a crash site with a car? If you are living close to a big city, it's about 10 to 20 minutes in Sweden. But if you then go out in the outdoors or just leave the cities for a couple of days, there will be a much longer time for you to get help. And how do we usually drive around? In a warm, hot, modern car, probably in a shirt, some trousers, some form of boots, so we don't sweat them in, sweat in them when we are driving. Okay, it. what do we have in that bag then? The bag should be approximately 30 to 40 liters. We have some uh, boot covers, but if you have sneakers or anything like that, it's really important that to isolate against the ground coldness if you're going to be working around the car while you're prepping and waiting for them to come, rescue so to say. We always bring some extra clothing, like warm socks if you don't have it on you into the bag, some form of base liner, especially for your legs, and then maybe some uh, sweater or something like that also into the bag. It could mean that you're going to be there for some hours, so Bring something, a torch or whatever. If you have a headlamp, it's very good because then you can use your tools, your hand, while you have it on you. I usually never put in the batteries here so I don't get any mail function that I, so it burns up. So I have to assemble it so I'm sure that this is fully charged. I have my med kit and especially that I carry a Celox hemostat, a first aid, and some form of tourniquet for initially if I get wounded in the car when I'm going off the road. I have some uh, food with me also, snacks. In this case, you only pour in hot water into this bag and then you just eat it after 10 minutes. I have a small uh, coffee cup and this is made of metal. And that means that if I don't have any water, uh, I can take snow and melt it. And by melting one cup of this, I can then pour it into the food that I showed you. Or I can 
drink hot liquids while I'm waiting in the car. Ordinary toilet paper is really good to have because if you're gonna wait there for long you might need to take a crap. And how do we then get warmth into our car? Small candles can give you a lot of warmth in it. It could be like 20 Celsius minus degrees outside, but if you have these ones inside, it could be around zero. Use then some form of foil to form where you have these ones in. In for let's say the cup holders or say anything like that. And to be able to light those you need matches or a lighter or something like that. Okay, it's bad weather out there. You have to stay. Two candles. I just managed to make myself some tea. Took some snow, melted it on top of the candle. Okay, tools then. I have an axe, approximately half a meter to 60 centimeter. It could be useful in order to maybe if you're in a situation you can make a fire outside but also if you're unfortunate for instance to run over a deer or something like that and it's not dead then you can use this to take away its agonies and especially during winter time to have some form of foldable shovel with you it's also good. With this you can clear up around the car. If you're smashed into the snow, the engine compartment will be filled with snow. You can use it to dig it out, the snow from there, or use the cup. It's very important that you don't run the engine if it's full of snow, compressed snow. Okay, extra clothing. Also, I have this warm jacket, fits into the bag perfectly. It could be put on top of me while I'm sitting in the car, if I'm stuck. Uh, and also, one of the places where you lose most of your heating is through your head. And that's why I have a warm hat with me. Could be any of these types. So when I put them on, And then if you have a hood on your jacket, that is also good to preserve warmth. In the throat I have a buff. This buff is in high vis. I could also use that to put a sign outside my car that I'm here. So when the guy is clearing the road, see something so you don't end up running into your car or just passing you. And Finally also here, I need some form of warm gloves. That are really thick mittens with a warm lining in them. Okay, I hope that gave you some idea about how we pack our safety bag.